to our channel akura wano today is monday and we are actually at home z was actually supposed to go to work today but i don't know what happened uh, he's currently downstairs i'm upstairs uh, i was organizing the baby's um diaper bag and i'm doing laundry as well um today's a holiday for us over here in canada so you know we're just at home kind of chilling we're like literally, literally from this morning we're debating what we wanted to do um there's not really much to do it's kind of breezy outside like you, you literally can hear the breeze just hitting against the window so i'm not sure what we're gonna do um we might link up with the williams family shannon mario i'm not sure yet we were over there last night and we were just kind of like just chilling and hanging out um but oh she's awake now but she does this thing where like Sometimes she'll wake up and cry and fall back asleep. So let me see if she's going to actually. She's been sleeping for so long. See, her eyes are closed. She went back to sleep. Okay, maybe she's waking up. Hi, Mama. Not talking today? Hmm? <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry about that. My dad actually called me, and that's why the video cut the first time. And then the second time, Nala was up, so I had to go feed her. She's currently downstairs with Ziggy. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just here. I gotta pack her diaper bag, because usually I try to restock it up or whatever it needs to be put in there. Just for like the next time I'm ready to go on the road. It's already packed, and I don't have to worry about it or like do it last minute. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I usually keep in her diaper bag because I know someone was asking me Actually a lot of people have been asking me for certain like mom and baby videos or like what stuff do I use what stuff didn't I use Um, those videos are coming But right now I'm just going to share with you guys like what I keep in her diaper bag I actually have two diaper bags. I have this one Which is like the backpack. This is a very popular one that you guys will see a lot of people actually have this bag and then I have another one that I haven't used yet, but it's in top of my closet. But I'm going to more use that probably for when I'm, like, traveling or um, just, like, when I'm, really, like, really, really going out. I'll probably use that one. That one also is a backpack. Um, but, yeah, this is the one that I've been using right now. And I actually really love this one. This is one of my favorite ones. It has so much um, compartments on it. And it's just so neat. And then it has, like, the backpack style. Um, so I can wear it, Ziggy can wear it, I don't have to worry, he doesn't have to worry about it looking too girly or whatnot. Um, and I really like the backpack style because you're not straining your sh your shoulders. That's what I really like. So, so this is how the bag looks on the inside. As you guys can see, it's really, really big. Um, it has like, you have like a pocket here, there's another pocket down here, you got a side pocket, side pocket, and the pockets are really deep. You have pockets right here. Um, you also have like a little back pocket right here. You can put like your, you can stick like your cell phone, iPad, whatever you want to stick in there. And then on the back right here, this actually leads to the inside of the bag. So I'm going to show you guys something that I do that makes it really convenient. And it's, then you also have two side pockets and, um, on this one, it's actually made where you can like put the wipes. So it's like easier to come off. So like you know the wipes that have like this. I'm assuming like that's what this is for, but I don't even really use it for that, to be honest. <laughs> and then you have, and then you have the um, front, which has a lot of junk in right now that I'm actually going to clean out. So the bag actually came with these two um, little hooks that you can put on the back right here. And I guess you can like hook it on your stroller or whatever you want to hook it, but I don't even use them. I just leave them in here. And then you have like the... Um, the look of bottle holders where it can keep your bottles warm or cold or whatever. So yeah, this is the bag and I really love it. Really, really love it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm actually just taking out the junk and whatever doesn't need to be in there right now. Because I have so much junk in there. Um, so I'm just going to be restocking it and just showing you guys like the stuff that I put in there. This bag literally, guys, is so deep. So... For my first time, my new mommies, let me tell you guys how it's so important to make sure you guys walk and pack extra clothes because you just never know when your child will have an explosion, okay? That happened to me 
I think three or two times on the road already and thank god I had extra clothes in my bag because I don't even know what I what I would have done so what I usually do is I have like a pack like extra onesies but I actually need to check if these are the right size because she's actually growing and some of these are like too small she has an explosion so I have a long sleeve just in case it's cold or whatever then I got a little short sleeve one um I'll actually put like maybe two so I have three. I have three. So I have two short sleeves and one long sleeve. It's actually getting warmer, so I don't really need the long sleeve. But just in case a night or something is cold, I have the long sleeve. So with those, I usually just stick those into the side pocket just because they're really deep. So I'll just kind of like just fold them and tuck them in. There's no special way that I fold them. I just put them in there. So then that's where I know where those are. And then I will just walk with like two extra bottoms. Um, just like these cute little tights I have for her. I just have, put them in there. And they also match what's in there. Um, and I just stick those in the side as well. In the bottom bottom, so in the like the bottom right here, I said I was going to show you guys something. So I actually always have a lot of diapers because you never know when your child is going to just be using a lot of diapers. So I'm actually going to have to grab some more diapers to put in here. But I put the bot the diaper specifically at the bottom. So with this backpack, it has this back part. So instead of me actually unzipping this part to go in here, if I have to, I can just unzip this part right here. And I can just grab a diaper out. So that's exactly why I stick those diapers in the bottom specifically. And then whatever is on top can just be on top. So I'm actually going to go grab some more diapers to put in here at the bottom. So stick those there. Okay, so next up I have my diaper changing pad in the bag i actually really like this one because it comes like all folded up and it's very neat and easy to pull out of the bag you know you can just have it kind of sticked up like this pull it out and you have your baby in your hand and then you have your wipes and you have your diapers here so this is one thing that i like about this changing pad as well um so it actually came with this little did it come? I don't remember if it came with this or not. Oh, yes, it did. So this actually came with um, the changing pad. And you can just reload it if your hands are tied up and you can't bother to go in the bag to get, like, uh, wipes and pampers. At least you have this. So I actually stuffed this up as well. I probably keep, like, two or three diapers in here. And I load, up, load this up with wipes every now and then. Um, and then, yeah, so this is the changing pad that I have. So I'm actually just going to reload this up right now. And then this, I just stick off the side. So that way when I open the bag, if, my, if, she, if I have her in my hand, it's just easier to pull out. So then I just have this right here, and then I have the diapers. So you see I have the clothes, diapers, diaper changing pad. So next up in the bag, I keep a receiving blanket. And I also keep a swaddle blanket. Um... I never really use the swaddle blankets because Nyla never liked to be swaddled when she was little. So what I actually use this for is to breastfeed. So mommy hack 101. If you don't have like a cover up um, and you have swaddle blankets, you can just tie this around your neck like this. Put the baby under here and you can just feed her. See, simple as that. Easy one, two, three. So that's actually why I keep the swaddle blankets um, not to swaddle her because she does not like to be swaddled. So I just keep my up. Uh, 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 so I just keep a receiving blanket and also a swaddle blanket. And then I also keep a burping cloth. I don't think I need to explain why I keep a burping cloth, but yeah, I keep a burping cloth. Stick that in the side. I just keep a couple of rags just in case when she spits up and now is at that stage where she's just drooling a lot so I have some rags that I keep here and I just keep that in the zipper part just so it's away from everything um, I keep a pair of hat just because just in case like if I go somewhere and it's cold I know at least like I have a hat I can just throw on her head like I said summertime is slowly coming over here so the hat is just like a extra thing I throw in there and then I have like a couple bibs because Nyla again is at that stage where she's drooling a lot so I just keep three bibs in there and 
and what else do I have? I also have this, um, it's like a portable genie, genie bags that you can carry just in case you're somewhere and you want to put her diaper. Um, this is optional. I just like to have this because some people don't like baby diapers in their garbage, so at least you can tie it, tie it in this and it will kind of like hold the scent. Um, so that's why I have that. No specific reason. What else do I have? I walk with Vaseline because after I change her diapers, I always put Vaseline on her. So I have my Vaseline right here that I usually keep in the side just because it's easier access. I have Vaseline for myself. And I also have, um, I have Vaseline for myself and like for my lips. <laughs> and I also have lotion for my hands just because like my hands, if my hands get dry or whatever. On the bag, I actually keep a hand sanitizer just because when you're out and you have to like quickly... Um, pick her up or anything you can just hand sanitize your hand right there on the spot if anyone wants to touch your baby you have the hand sanitizer right here um you really want to make sure that you're not transferring like too much germs and all that stuff from what you're touching out there to your baby so yeah i have a hand sanitizer here that i actually need to get a new one i should think i could just refill it easily get these at the dollar store or even um bath and body works has some nice scented ones but i try not to use like too much scented stuff around her so Anytime. So I just keep that attached right here. Um, for the bottom part of her bag, so this is the top part. Top part's basically done. As for the wipes, I'll just keep the wipes right here. Um, on the other side of the bag, I just have like essential stuff for my hands and stuff. And for as for the bottom part, so I have a little diaper rash cream. Okay, the reason why I put these stuff in this part of, like, the bottom part of the bag is because Nala's not really taking bottles right now. So I just occupied this with other stuff. So I have, like, an Aveeno eczema cream right here that I got. It's a little travel size one. I just keep this in here. Um, just in case I'm out and I have to wipe her down. Because usually I wipe her down in the nighttime or whatever if I have to shower her. At least I know I have her cream right there. I have a um, diaper rash cream right here that I don't really use. Um, then I also have like two, I have an Aveeno body wash, travel size, and I also have a, um, a Johnson one. I think I'm gonna, this one I don't use on her, I actually just use this if I need to wash my hands real quick. So, that's all that I basically have in there for her. Very simple. Um, now I'm gonna slowly put like a teething ring that I have for her in here, and a little toy that she really likes. I'm gonna keep it in here, just because... She's discovering how to grab onto stuff, and she likes putting stuff to her mouth, and I think she's teething, so I'm going to actually put some toys in here that she has that can occupy her, and that is basically all that I have in here. So that's basically all that I have in her diaper bag, and this is how I've been packing it, and this is how it's, like, everything I have in here um, has worked for me. I've never been short of anything, um, but yeah, that's just me that's just me sharing with you guys the little stuff that i keep in her bag nothing too complicated nothing too much and that's basically it um i'm actually thinking of going to wash my hair i was gonna straighten my hair but i'm kind of lazy i think i'm just gonna just wash it and probably just braid it in two or something or do finger coils so over my hair my hair is just so long it's just so annoying uh, yeah, so I guess I'll tune back in with you guys. My dad's actually home today from work, so he said he's going to cook something. Hope he makes oxtail. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go finish do what I want to do around the room, and then I'll tune back in with you guys and give you guys an update, and y'all can see what I'm doing throughout my day. Okay? Yeah, no. Oh, stop. <laughs> I could have won now. What am I going to do you now? You know? They're on the Brampton side, you know? <laughs> Big up all our Bramtonians, our Bramtonians. Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so to my vibes. <laughs> How are you guys doing over there? Everything good? Yeah? Good weather? Cool. <laughs> yeah, man. So, we jump on a one bus and come down on the side, you know? We're traveling, right? Yes, man. See, three. <laughs> yeah, man. So, we yeah, do a little one thing, you know? I'll go up on a little ends, go play some pool and I'll get some food first because you don't know. You know you don't grow. Oh, yeah, go. Eh? Yeah, man. I don't know. I agree. Oh. 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 Oh.
that sent me this sticker. I actually forgot her name, but this is like the cutest <laughs> and the most perfect sticker ever. Shout out to you. Just taking how mesmerized she is by me. If she's not staring at me, this is what she's doing. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. You want to talk about your time? We're out here um, grilling some steak. Huh? I'm going to cook it longer. Mm. Push them down too. Oh, my, oh here's freezing, bro. Hold it. Oh, he's so... <clears throat> you still need a light? how today was like nice outside and then uh, all of a sudden it's like <laughs> freezing so guys tell me if this makes any sense i have a vlogging camera you know i have my camera and i bought it specifically for vlogging so that i wouldn't have to use my phone but for some reason every minute i'm always using my phone i don't know why but like i need to put this camera to use because this camera was not cheap um and i need to put it to use because this is what i bought it for so um but to my kitchen's really dark because like we only have lights in our kitchen and not in the living room. I don't know why they built the house like that, but um, yeah, I'm just about to cut up some veg as I said before. I'm watching our vlogs today and got a, and what oh you yeah yeah so we said that in the last vlog that i uploaded or was it yeah the mother's day one we forgot to give a shout out to a subscriber so sending a shout out to team underscore lethal we forgot your name 
and you sent us your name and like the message won't load properly so shout out to you <laughs> congratulations to you and wifey on your son you know welcome to parenthood i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you are there for wifey 100 because it is tough and tiring um, another shout out goes out to Abby. Abby's always messaging me. Wake up yourself. Yeah, I'm on eight months so after this long. Uh, Yo, I still can't believe you brought up the I you know. <laughs> Man, I try, man. I, I agree. So I, I just I run out and just I blaze up in anything. You see, pre. Yeah, so as I say, yeah, man, I agree. So the funny thing, I just, and when I die, I'm serious, I mean, turn it down, but it ain't turn down. They were, like, the other ones yeah. were so I cut me half a cut half a bun party. What's the sauce I put on it? Uh, maybe. Well, I know you know more know about it. I don't really know about the steak too much. But anyway, I'm there. I go. Bedtime for you. Bedtime for you. Yes, it's bedtime for you. No? No bed? Alright, alright. Yeah, man. So, Mama said good night. I remember again. Like, comment. Subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. No, subscribe to each other. Continue to share. See, pretty big up on yourself. Yeah, now say something. Yeah, yeah, say something. Say something. Ooh. Say something to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good night, too.